A full swing. And you know, some people I know that a big topic of conversation is trying to stay in shape during the holiday season. Well, Carolyn is here with us today for some healthy meal options using seasonal produce. First of all, good morning. Good morning. And I definitely <laughs> say attempting to try and stay on track during the holidays because we know it can be tough, right? Absolutely. <laughs> but you have such a smorgasbord for us this morning. Talk to me about some of these healthier options and some of these substitutes that we can use. Yes. Uh, so today we're promoting seasonal produce because when we do that we're supporting local farmers um, but also it's cheaper when you buy produce that's in season uh, and it tastes great. I was just going to say and it usually <laughs> tastes better too. Yeah it's absolutely so today I'm going to walk you through a few dishes that I made. I'm going to start with the uh, pumpkin chili. Okay. All right and you got to taste I gotta this. Taste okay. It. Okay. Pumpkin <laughs> yeah. Chili. All right, so we're gonna we can get another look over here before I start diving deep, deep into this. Um, talk to me. What's involved here? So we have uh, ground turkey, pumpkins. Um, pumpkins. Yes, a can of pureed pumpkins, and uh, pureed pumpkins are great for a lot of recipes because you could substitute the fat for pumpkin. So okay. one to one ratio. Wow. Oh wait, and honestly, I don't even taste the, I'm trying to like take a moment. I'm not even tasting the pumpkin, really. It just gives it like a tiny tad of sweetness, yeah. but I also have chili in that pumpkin. <laughs> right, and you got the beans for protein. And I know this is just one of the options. You've got so much here. So talk to me about some of the things that you got going on here. So we have some acorn squash. Um, which is great. It has beta carotene in it and uh, vitamin C and potassium. It's really good. Um, and I stuff the acorn squash with couscous. Feel free to put quinoa if you want to and uh, just sauteed some mushrooms and onions and a bunch of spices and put it in there and a little bit of shredded cheese on top. I was going to say my mom was going to want to know what that is. <laughs> and this, this is, I was like, is this guac? What's going on? You know, I'm going to bring it up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step right across <laughs> you so people can see this. I was like, is it guac? What's going on here? But it wasn't. I was wrong. Uh, it is spaghetti squash and we added pesto to it. Um, spaghetti squash is low carb. It's a great substitution for your normal spaghetti noodles. And you know, I've been starting to see it pop up at certain restaurants too. I think Noodles and Company has it too, where we're starting to see a little bit of those substitutes. But we also got a uh, salad here, some greenery. I was asking you what some of the colors were in here. So we have air fried butternut squash. We got some pecans, some dried uh, cranberries, and just a vinaigrette dressing on it. And of course, what is a meal without something sweet? Yes, we got some baked apples and believe it or not, they're, I just popped them in the microwave for one minute, put a little bit of cinnamon and we put our Greek yogurt on top of it. Vanilla Greek yogurt, um, high protein and a little bit of slivered almonds. I love this because I would never think to heat up the apples as a snack. I eat apples all the time as a snack <laughs> and I would never think to warm them up. How great it makes it, you know, just, you know, a little extra comfort food. Great. And the cinnamon just makes it pop up even more. It does. And you know, speaking of apples, also this is a go-to for me. This is a regular. You got the apples, you got the peanut butter, and talk to them about the chocolate, those chocolate chips, because they're a special kind. Uh, yes, so they are semi-sweet chocolate chips because I, I need a little bit of sweetness, right? You know? But feel free to use dark chocolate if you want to. Um, but I absolutely love this combination. And remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Lots of fiber, lots of vitamin C right here for your immune system and gut health. It is. And you know what? I always put those uh, in my yogurt, too. So, you know, honestly, you can combine all that stuff, too. Great options. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. And I'll be posting all these recipes on my nutrition and me Instagram and Facebook. Perfect. And we're going to have a link to all of that so you guys can get those recipes on our website. Thank you so much again for coming in. Taking a live look outside. Let's take a look there, right there on the levee. Wow, a beautiful look right there. We got the sun just perfectly setting on the skyline there. And you